So Lucid Cam is a small device which you can use to capture at any moment in the day. And uh, you capture the same way like your eyes see it, with true depth and peripheral. How we came up with Lucid was at the beginning we were working on remote controlled robots. Um, I was just a user tester, I'm not an expert in that, but my co-founder were. Um, and, and he so um, he worked on robots which I was able to control with a VR headset on. And um, he told me, you know, it's going to take forever to build that entire robot because, I don't know, it's like 10, 20 years, I don't know, <laughs> to build the entire thing and bring it out. And so we decided to just rip off the ice and create a camera and small portable device out of it. So with Lucidcam now, it just fits right into your pocket and you take those robot eyes anywhere. We, we didn't think that VR will take off so fast, but then when Google released their cardboard, and it came out, we thought, wow, that's definitely going to be the future because anybody who has an iPhone now or any phone, like Android phone, um, can watch what we do and can capture them uh, their own experiences. So with Lucidcam, pr um, primarily we focus on the design itself because it's very sleek, small, portable, and uh, we made it in a way that you can mount it anywhere. You can mount it on your chest, mount it on your helmet, and then uh, take experiences the same way like you would do with maybe with the GoPro itself, right? Right now, uh, it takes uh, 2K videos, uh, that means uh, 180p per eye at 30 frames a second. And then on the photo side, we can actually ramp up the resolution to 4K, which means uh, 2K per eye. And you can you know, take a snap, and then you can send those uh, photos to um, friends and family, and you still feel like you are in that moment right now. And it's a still 3D, 180 degree capture. And so we really believe now where it's you know, more accessible to the masses that virtual reality can become the future of, you know, of reliving experiences and not just looking at a 2D flat screen and you're looking at some pictures and you feel like, oh, that's, that's nice and you're an observer, but now you can be right in that moment where you took it. And that's fascinating for us. Right?